Um, and as you said, there's, they're not, they're teaching some very different things in terms of technique, like even with the, the, the sprinters, um, like I think Dressel is pretty much, it's like a straight arm freestyle. And I mean, Klimia was the same back in the day. And, um, and then with breaststroke, you've got Adam Petey, who's got this super fast rating, um, Rebecca Sony, who's quite unique compared to some of the other breaststrokers. It's, uh, you're sort of seeing this, some of the technique, uh, they're not teaching just one style anymore, which is, um, which is really good. And it's just, I guess, adapting it to whoever they're, whoever the person is, depending on their, their height, their strength or their strengths yeah. in the stroke. It's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's no, really exciting. Uh, there's no cookie cutter uh, technique anymore. That's going to work for everybody. Like, um, everybody is going to have to do something that's going to work just a little bit better for their body than it would have worked for, for somebody else. And, um, so I, I think the one thing that's really been great is that you've been seeing a bit of a renaissance among the coaches, um, as they've started to realize that, um, there's gotta be more one, than one technique across the used to walk to a club, like on the deck of a club and you'd see everybody would be doing the exact same free throw, the exact same breast or, you know, butterfly or, or, um, backstroke. And now you're kind of seeing, you know, a bunch of different styles um, on on the one team as swimmers are also um, more comfortable being able to kind of, um, you know, kind of listen to their own uh, body's analytics, right? Because there's no, um, there's no better feedback than the feeling of water against your own skin. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, I think, I think that's been, um, I think that's just been really awesome to see. Yeah. And I mean, look at even the 1500, look at Sun Yang compared to Peltrineri and there couldn't be two more different types of, of freestyle there yet oh, they're yeah. both just like they're both as quick as one another and um like i've sort of looked at um well gregorio stroke in slow motion quite a bit just to kind of understand what he's doing in in each part of the stroke and it just it doesn't fit the typical box of uh of, of what you expect with freestyle like it's very unique and it's not it's not pretty compared to you know it's not a beautiful stroke but boy it's quick yeah, I know. That's the thing. It, it doesn't need to look pretty. The only thing that people mm-hmm. care about is what the clock says at the end of the race. All right? Nobody cares what you look like while you were doing it. Exactly right. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah no, no, <laughs> nobody asked that question at the end. It goes, how did, how did you look? And it's like, no. Right. How, I mean, what was your time? Yeah, like it's, it's not diving. It's not figure skating. It's not synchro swimming, right? It's not a judged sport, right? So it's not like, oh, you know, you went sub 48 for, for a 50 freestyle, but, you know, point deductions because, you know, <laughs> you know, you lifted your head up too high on the breath or, you know, whatever, you know, not enough dolphin kicks underwater off the wall. Yeah, it, that, it, yeah, completely true. And the, I've started open water swimming a couple of years back and I come from a pool background and it was pretty much when I allowed myself to get a little bit scrappy and messy with the stroke that my times in the open water started to really improve because if there's any sort of chop in the water and you're trying to swim with a traditional sort of freestyle stroke, the longer, smoother stroke, it doesn't work as well as you know being a bit more aggressive on the entry and with the recovery and faster stroke rate. So it's just um, knowing when and how to make those adaptations um, yeah, depending on what event you're doing. Yeah. I mean, I even look back at my, my London race and, you know, just seeing what, uh, um, you know, how strokes have evolved since then I look at and go, you know what, I kind of wish, you know, maybe I just stuck around a little bit longer because I would have liked to have tried, you know, opening up my arms a little bit. I even look at that race and go, huh, my head position was actually up a little bit too high. So <laughs> even with that medal, like I still know that I, I still had uh, room uh, for improvement in terms of, uh, in terms of technique. So it, it would have been cool to stick around a little bit more and uh, play around with my stroke a little bit. 